Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Headed out on this Saturday. First, I'm going to go over and check on uh, that red 850 we put that K24 on. The owner thinks that the turbo blew up. Turbo didn't blow up, something else blew up. He was uh, tuning it last night, went in the watt, heard a snap, and then the car crawled home. So, we're going to find out what's going on with that check on a single ladies car uh, one of my community projects I call it uh, man some of these cars I work on I don't charge them uh, they pay if they want and it's almost like a helper tour but some of these folks they need that kind of help so I just do it another thing that man I'm really wanting to do is set up a fund for disaster donations I'm really considering even though it's an R uh, donating Red Baron to a disaster uh, situation man we got these people losing vehicles in floods we have them losing vehicles in fires you know if Malibu burns down the whole dang city a lot of rich folks are going to lose some stuff. Most of it covered by insurance. However, uh, we can't assume that everybody in Malibu is rich. They got people that do lawn care, do maid service, do all kind of things to support those rich folks. And unfortunately, some of those uh, rich folks may not be sensitive to their needs and losses and may just move on to somebody that... Uh, don't need their help and as far as uh, that kind of support so anyway uh, I would like to uh, maybe keep a car ready uh, for that kind of stuff and I want to encourage you guys too. if you got a car sitting around and you're not doing nothing with uh, needs minimal stuff to be in good running condition hey consider uh, donating that vehicle to somebody in need, you know, relative, friends, or even friends of friends, or just tra straight out strangers. That's what I did with uh, um, uh, Blue Eyes. So, I'm uh, this coming week going to do what I can to get uh, Red Baron in top running condition. And Red Baron may be on its way to uh, be in somebody's hands, you know. I may swap a couple of parts out uh, just to recuperate some of my expenses. Right now, I'm about 75% into it, about 25% donations. Uh, but if I took a couple of parts, uh, removed them, or swapped them out for something else, I may be able to put myself in a little bit better financial situation where it won't cost me so much to uh, donate that vehicle. Um, transmissions is really the only main concern on it. Some other uh, minor stuff and that car is ready to hit the road for, man, you know, a few years. So I'm going to verify that the engine's good and strong. I, I think it is. It was running good the other day. Uh, talk to the mechanic about getting that transmission swapped out. I can't swap it out here and uh, maybe consider uh, swapping out the wheels, put good wheels and tires on it. Buster Brown has a really good set of T5 wheels and tires. I could buy those off of him, sell these, m maybe gain a couple hundred bucks. So really thinking about uh, putting that one on a donation list. And if you guys are in a position to do the same, you may consider doing the same or uh, support me in those efforts. I'm thinking, hey, if you can afford 20 bucks, donate 20 bucks toward it. 
every uh, five dollars counts. Twenty bucks will help get a couple of parts, or may help uh, pay for the transport of the vehicle. So that's where my train of thought is right now. Uh, hopefully by Monday or Tuesday, I'll be able to make that final decision and get that car uh, in somebody's hands that needs it. Another thing I want to do is give a special shout out thanks to one of my buddies and viewers in the Pittsburgh area named Eric. He became the newest uh, member to the Patreon account. Thank you very much. And uh, let's see what we can go get into today. I uh, had a fail yesterday. I used a eBay gear to uh, replace and fix that odometer on that 850, the Blue Beast, and it was a fail. It didn't work. So I think the gear was actually too tight on the little post on the main gear. So I'm not sure if just pulling that off will fix it, doing something with it, or if I should uh, replace that uh, unit. I'm kind of thinking that if that little gear didn't move, it might have burned up that little motor. So I'm going to replace that little motor in the odometer unit. So let me go get one of those, make sure I got a better fit on it with my new tools, and go from there. Not want to tear that cluster open again, only to find out that that little motor's burn up now, that it didn't spin when it was supposed to. So anyway, let me grab one of those, see what else going on, get out of here. Got it. This one's a lot closer to what that actually was. So I'm going to change the gear in this and should be good to go. Let's see if I got one of the original gears. If not, I'm going to make sure one of the replacement gears I have fits properly. Not too tight. Kick another 940 out there. 1989 760. It's got a 940 on the back and it looks like a 740. Man, that car is all mixed up. Gotta keep them together to keep them on the road. Tire looks, looks a little low on Queen B. So I'm airing it up. Gotta get it up to 30. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.